We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host once again, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we are diving back into Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, we talked to a whole bunch of people. I went off on random tangents that had nothing to do with anything and probably didn't actually say anything. And I'm sure somehow I said something to make everyone mad at me because, of course, I did. Because why wouldn't I? I mean, I, I really, truly didn't. But, you know, everybody reads everything out of context somehow, some way, some... It's, it's fine. Agreed. All right. So, Knights... Oh, let's turn that off. Agreed. Knights must uphold justice and honor. So, on the battlefield, never behave the fool. You could have said act the fool. We, we would have been okay with that. Selica! It's like this. Marth's homeland is a continent adjacent to my own birthplace. To think we would meet here. All right, sure. Hmm. I was never told that uh, Firene, or Firene uh, held a second ring. Let us collect Alfred and uh, journey to the shrine. Okay. Oh, that's right. We have the notebook thing that we're going to maybe look at at some point. Okay, this leads around to that sort of in a roundabout way. Hmm. Oh, the Amiibo Gazebo's here. Okay. Might as well unlock it. I'm not, like, going to trigger it, and it's an outside thing, so it's not going to load me into something, which is nice. Wow, they, I mean, they opened this up, like, fast. I was expecting this to slowly open over the course of several chapters. Now, to be fair, I also did not come back here after Chapter 4. Went directly into Chapter 5 like I'm a complete maroon or a goober, if you will. So, again, partially my fault. And by partially, I mean completely, totally, and entirely my fault. But, I accept that. If we go this way, and then this way? Yeah. I don't know why navigating very simple things are difficult for me, but hey, look at me. Uh, we didn't go to this side of the thing. This should trigger another cutscene. Yeah. It's gonna be the item shop and the weapon shop. Definitely, these folks are not Anna. Now, uh, the armory and item shop are open. Now, Anna's been known as a traveling merchant for a very long time in the Fire Emblem series. Origins are all the way back with the original game. I know that she was only not in the Fire Emblem Gaiden and its remake. Or remakes. There might be more than one. Um, but she's been around forever. I think she was like the save file person in the original Fire Emblem. Like when you originally went to do your saves and so on and so forth. She'd be like, hey. And you're like, cool. So she's been around forever and a day. So I, I have to assume that she is going to pop up somewhere. But I also like the idea that she was going to be our merchant. And she does not appear to be, at least not yet. This is a stable, because there's a horse. Is this gonna put me inside? Is there an inside? Oh no, okay, there's not. Oh, what is, what is going on over here? All right, I'll be there in a minute. I, I just want to take a peek at what's over here. I know there's nothing right now. There's a well and maybe a quarry at some point? And a giant hole in our our castle wall. Why, what? That's not good. I mean, we're on a flo floating sky island. I don't think it's really Stretching your legs? that big good for you. of a deal. But, it's to, oh, okay. I'd take one step further forward. At least she's got sensible shoes on, unlike us. We got the weird little short heel things going on. Are they just doing squats? Strength training is now available. Uh -huh. Ah! Oh, sorry. I I am I'm a steward of the dragon. I gotta be strong, and I'm not strong enough. Uh yeah. Just whatever you say, man. Hey. Yes. A royal soldier has to keep up his training through any situation. One, two, one, two. Alright, you tell you, you tell him. Bucheron. All right. Are you all right there, Divine One? Of course. Have you bet me? I'm a fantastic. Bucheron? Why do you ask? Oh, I just thought you seemed a little worn out. Uh... Ouch. You noticed? Uh, I am feeling sort of sluggish. 
Huh, that's not good. You're eating three meals a day, I hope. Yes. I don't think my diet <laughs> not is Not even efficient. sort of. Well then, how about your sleep? Hmm, about the usual. Nope. Hmm, so you're eating and sleeping fine, but you still feel groggy. Yep. It could be stress. Always. You think so? I wouldn't be surprised. Going to war is stressful for anyone. True. What have you been doing as stress relief? Uh, Nothing. It hadn't even occurred to me. Why? What do you do? Train. I have several ways to blow off steam. Like going up a mountain alone and spending some quiet time fishing. Yeah, there you go. Wow. That does sound relaxing. Would you like to join me sometime? The alone part of it is optional. Really? Yes, I would love that. Please come get me the next time you head out. Aw, that was cool. I love these support. These are so good. They finally figured it out. I don't want to see people mad at each other that slowly turn around. I want to see people, you know, at, at most begrudgingly, uh, I don't know, kind of like Gimli and Legolas in like, um... Boy, Lord of the Rings, uh, in the like the Fellowship of the Ring, you know they they were a bit aggressive, but it became more of a friendly competition. They were competitive more than hate filled. Like I feel like that should be almost the only like the the harshest way it should be. But again, I know dwarves and elves hated each other in that series and so on and so forth. So maybe there was more, and I'm not remembering it. But hey, divine one. Hey, ATA. So let me guess. You're here for strength training. I can see the drive in your eyes. Uh, not right now, but I will talk to you in support status. I will come back for strength training, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Oh, I'm so happy that uh, huh? I cracked What's you up. up? You're looking at me kind of weird. Oh. You look like late. Sorry, I didn't mean any offense. I just couldn't help it. Is there something wrong with how I look? Oh. Oh, no, nothing like that. Then tell me why you're laughing already. Your bow just wiggle? Well, you know how you're always so confident? Oh. Huh? I was thinking about how plain it is on your face. There's confidence all over you. It's kind of inspiring to look at. Which is why you were staring. <sighs> Forgive me, Etienne. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Nah, I don't mind. I'm actually a little honored to help out the Divine One. Cool. If staring at me lifts your mood, go ahead and stare all you want. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but a quick jog will help get my mind off it. See you around, Divine Why One. Why do you have a bow tie on? What? Uh, oh, okay. The, yeah. Nope, that, that was weird. Um, what? Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Hey, is this where we get to see our pets? That we gather the sheep and the, the dog? The the sheep and, and the doge? Oh, yeah, it is. The e, uh, El, Eli, Eliosian? Eliosian sheep? Um, we're sure. And dog. Yeah, that's, yep. Dog is first. Elios. Eliosian. Maybe that's what it is, probably. All right, so they, like, like now appear and we can, like, interact with them? Doge and sheep. Behold, dog! No, a uh, sheep right now. Yep, that's that's a sheep. We made it bray or bay or stuff. Oh, well, that was fascinating. Hey, doggo, what's up? I shall call you Humphrey. What's up, Humphrey? Yeah, good Humphrey. Who's a good Humphrey? Sorry, sorry, my, my dog's like, excuse me? You're a good girl too, Katie. We love you. Oh, we love you so much, little one. All right. Um, let's go do the strength training. See how that plays. All right, I'm here for strength training. So. Yep. That's, that's, what, what? Very nice. Okay, I knew it. Wait here, and I'll be right back with Prince Alfred. Oh. Oh. In strength training, you can choose from three different exercises to get temporary boost to all your stats. Well, why do I want temporary boosts? I mean, I guess it's fine. 
Each exercise plays differently and affects a different stat. Try for top scores on all of them. You unlock more difficulties for each exercise as you progress through the story. That doesn't sound good to me, but... What'll it be? Uh, use good timing to stop the bar at the right position. Speed will increase, miss three times it's over. Well, your strength may get a boost in the next battle. Mash the button to fill up the gauge. Mash fast for high score. Ends if the gauge is empty. HP may get a boost in the next. You know, I kind of like the idea of HP. I like the idea of all of them, to be fair. And then dexterity. Move both sticks in rhythm according to the prompts. Move following the arrows. Three miss misses and it's over. Uh, let's try the sit-ups. Subs are about button mashing endurance. Mash quickly to raise the bar to the top. It ends if it hits the bottom. Uh, raising the bar will gradually get more difficult, but doing it quickly will improve your rating. And we get fit. Boy, I wish I had a turbo. How hard control. do you want to go? Not very, but we don't really have a choice. Oh, wait, what? Want a training partner? We'll help you out if it likes you. Heck yeah. What button am I hitting? Keep it up! Nice. Oh, oh, I gotta go all the way to the top. Okay, I understand. Looking good. You've got this. There's 20 of these. Perfect. You've got this. Perfect. You've got this. Super compelling commentary, I know. Keep it up. He's got to groan with it. It makes it much better when you're talking and you're wiggling and you're all in under all our. Perfect. Looking good. Great job! I'm so proud. Flex on him. Hey, my tummy. It's fine. All right, so we had a bunch of perfects, a couple of bads. No, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, a good, apparently, and a couple of bads. I don't know what button to hit to start with. Apologies. Hey, HP will be plus two in next battle. Not worth the effort at all. Uh, you won't get any further bonus, but do you want... Why would I ever want to do that? Let's do this again sometime. I mean, uh, it's a thing. It's different. I'm going to try the other exercises next time. Like a different one, but... Eh, I'd say that one's a miss for me. But, again, you, you don't have to do it. You get a, a slight boost. It's not necessarily worth doing even. So, okay. Um, How do I increase the bond level of others so like Celine is maxed out with um silica how how do i get them to go to tier four sorry tier five level five excuse me they said that we had to do something to increase the bond either back here or elsewhere we we're able to do this directly with talking uh to marth here do do we do we go to the ring chamber we'll try it oh okay because there's something weird's going on here at the ring chamber all right so we go here we examine the pedestal i, I don't want to inherit skills i don't know what a bond ring is i don't what is what does this mean you can create bond rings using bond fragments okay bond rings increase stats and allow units to earn sp though not to the same extent as emblem rings do uh, okay who is that guy i i don't want to do this this is not a thing that i i think i at least i don't think i want to do And then we can polish the ring. Alright, how do... <sighs> Bond. Do it here? Ah, that's how I do it. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, there's gotta be a way. 
I just gotta start digging through the menus. All right, so we, we found we found the way. All right. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. Aww. I know what you mean. That we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. That was very short and sweet. I'll take it. Okay, so what I'm going to maybe try doing, and this might be a dumb move, but I'm going to maybe try maxing out... Oh my god, we have so many things to do. Uh, I'm maybe going to try maxing out the ring bonds before switching over and inheriting skills and getting other rings. So I think there's going to be some, like, like there's going to be, like, a flow, like a movement amongst different characters. I, I don't know if that's going to actually be viable or work, but that's what I'm planning to do. It's like we got a lot of um, uh, support conversations to go through, which I'm totally here for. All right, let's... Let's figure out what this polishing the ring thing is, because I have no earthly idea. The ring where Marth sleeps, a hero among heroes, brimming with nobility and a charisma. I mean, do I want somebody else to do this? No. Hey. It will take some work. It's good to be thorough. You're very, you're very thorough. Much better. W what? Why? No need to focus there. What is the purpose of this? I, I guess I'm done. No need to focus done. there. I don't... What, what did that do for me? It, it made him happier. What? What? Why? Why? Why is this a thing? Please be thorough. Oh my god, this ring is disgusting. An odd tactic. Thanks for always taking such good care of the ring. What? I don't... I, I, I really don't understand. An odd tactic. Okay, okay. Well, I, I, don't, I don't understand at all. Why Why is this a thing? Can, so, can somebody please answer me a question? This is incredibly stupid. Uh, uh, sorry, um, Alfred. Okay. I... This ring is filthy, don't you think? I done. I didn't think. <laughs> Thank I you. Just... Now I can stand by you with pride. Yeah, sure, man. What? Whatever. Okay. Well, I I hate everything about that. I that that was real dumb. I don't I don't understand. Look, it's something stupid, simple, and easy, I guess, to get us a little bit of extra bond points. Couldn't they just, like, let us talk to the person, maybe? Like, you can have one conversation or play, I don't know, Rashambo or something with them. That that would be rock, paper, scissors. Um, And just engaging with them or whatever. Uh, ring polishing, really? Man, that was weird. That was, that was so weird. All right, whatever. I, I'm over it, I guess, probably. All right, to the arena. Let's uh, let's figure this out. Woo. Um, I think we're gonna do all the conversations in here, though, because I am terrible at planning things out. Um, because I don't know if this improves bond levels or what this does exactly, but I feel like we should get them to the next tier before we actually attempt it. So, siblings. Speak to each other, please. It's about that time, President Clan. Oh, oh, he's the president of the... I'm all set, President Fram. Oh, co-presidents. In that case, I call this meeting of the Divine Dragon Fan Club to order. Woo! Yeah! Ahem. Our first and only agenda item is how to broaden the fan club's reach. President Clan, you have the floor. I think we should do something splashy to drum up people's excitement. Seconded. The only question is... What? what? I have an idea. Oh, yeah? How about we spread our message by making pamphlets? I'm listening. I'm listening See, too. everyone's heard of the Divine Dragon, oh. but only a few know the person behind the title. You and me? We could tell the world what the Divine One is really like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 
picking up what you're putting down. Nice. Oh, oh, how about this? We slap the Divine One's beautiful face on the cover and title it The Divine Dragon Up Close and Personal. No, no. Boom! No, no, no. Inside, no, no. we have an interview with every juicy detail folks could possibly want to know. Oh, that's... Favorite foods, favorite weapons, hair care routine, shoe size, the raw, uncut story. Uh uh. <gasps> no, no, no. You don't like it. No, no. no. I love it. No, no, it. no, no. That's way less stiff and formal than what I had in mind. Oh, Just the sort of brilliant part. idea I'd expect from you, Madam President. I couldn't have gotten there without your suggestion, Mr. President. All right. Let's get working on this pamphlet so we can hand it out all over town. Uh, wait. All over town? Yo, okay, yeah, no, I don't I don't think you should call it that. That doesn't seem like a a, a good you know what? I'm sure it's fine. Bucheron! What's up, man? Uh-oh. Why? Why would they do such a thing? Oh no. It's just not fair! Sure. Oh. Hey, Boucheron, right? Yes. And you're Fram, right? What? What is it? Do you need me for something? Why are you crying, man? Um, no, I'm fine. I heard somebody crying their eyes out and I got concerned, is all. Oh, That's me, right. Boucheron. Very emotional. Sorry for worrying you. I'm all right. Okay. But then what's with the sobbing? Well, I was reading this book oh. and I just get so swept up in the story. A book did this to you? Nice. People tell me I cry too easily. The littlest thing is enough to set me off. Okay, I gotcha. So what's this book about? Well, there are these siblings who are separated during a war and later meet again as enemies. That sucks. Huh. Sounds interesting. I'd be happy to lend it to you after I'm finished. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass. I don't really... Well, I'm not a big reader. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Yeah. Ah, what if I read it to you instead? Oh. What? That's sweet and all, but I couldn't ask you to read to me like a little kid. Oh, think nothing of it. I know you'd love the story just as much as I do. Well... In that case, sure, why not? That's cool. See, I love this. This is great. This is so much better. Ah, so much better. Ah, so tired of the, the angry everybody hates everybody thing. Ah, this is, this is great. Welcome back, Doggo. Amazing weather we're having today, huh? Yeah. Come on. Too true. We're it's the down. perfect day Whatever. for a cup of tea. Especially the tea you prepare, Etie. It's my favorite of all. That's kind of you to say would you like another cup no i'd better not if if you say so are they pooping i can't hold it anymore oh, i'm out your cup is down first i win yep fair play eta i got no excuse although i could swear our special workout teacups seem heavier today well spotted uh. i did add some weight in fact no wonder I had such trouble just lifting it. Workout teacups? Don't whine. The road to muscle gain is long and bumpy, yeah, and you've just begun. Tea time will only get harder from here. I expect nothing less. Let's raise our teacups to strength. Yeah. To strength. Well, uh, they weren't pooping. But uh, that is a very interesting way to train, we'll say. Louis! Is the tea to your liking, Princess Ailey? Yes, it's to my liking. Very much Sorry. so. <laughs> I particularly enjoy the aroma. I smell a hint of citrus, along with floral notes, oh yes? One of those. More than one variety, if I'm not mistaken. It brings to mind the blossoms often found during the warmer months. Taken all together, the scent is most pleasing. He's like, nah. I endeavor to satisfy. Nah, this black tea is a mix of leaves from southern Firenay with dried fruit rinds and flowers. It's heavenly, as the blends you prepare always are. Uh -huh. The chance to sip the tea you brew is one of the small joys that gets Still me through like each tea. day. <laughs> You're too kind, Princess Saline. Somewhat related, do you remember the special leaves I mentioned recently? Oh. Yes, of course. 
You said that they would produce a unique and distinctive flavor, if I recall. You recall correctly. Indubitably. I have a lead on how one might acquire Ooh. such leaves. I take it that would interest you. Truly? You're right. I'd love to sample it for myself. Excellent. The wait will be worth it. Indeed. Specialty. Specialty? Ha. <laughs> yes. Um, that's it? Nobody else has anything to say? No? Y'all y'all good? You, you talked out? Alright. Let's go figure out what we're doing here. Because I have no idea. Who battle? Now, uh, let's do the standard thing. Um, do we know what level we are? Okay, we're level four. How are you level one? Sorry. Uh, level four because you're you're an upgraded class, of course. Uh, five. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so some people are actually pretty high up there. We got to begin with Alir. She is. Uh, Let's have a good match. She is underpowered. I'll be your partner. Oh. I have no control over anything. This is just happening. Oh no! You're hitting the divine dragon. How do you justify I'm lost. that? Somehow, I won. Good, we needed the level. Oh my god, that's our level up. One HP and one speed. Alright, whatever. Uh-huh. Um, I, I kind of want to go again, but let's... Anybody else lower than us? No. Wait. Like, I want to use him, but I feel like by the time... Anyone else gets up to, like, his tier, he's going to be just trash level by comparison. So, I, I don't know. Alfred feels a little underwhelming as well right now. And Etia feels like she could use a little bit more love. I, B B Bucheron, or B Boucheron, uh, is doing well. Boucheron, or Boucheron, I think. Uh, love Louis. Louis's doing some work, too. Uh, love... Chloe, she's she's whooping it. All right, let's let Etie uh, come out and hang out. I am Etie, a royal knight of Firenay. Okay. It's me, Boucheron. Yeah, Bouchy. It's not gonna go well for uh, Etie. She's gonna get destroyed. I really thought I had you. <laughs> she's gonna get annihilated. Oh no. Oh, the conversation became available for that. That sucked. Uh, she's got absolutely mollywop there. Um, all right, let's see what Alfred can bring to the table. Jeez. Today's workout begins now. I am Vander, this is thirty-second steward of the dragon. Not gonna go well for me. Vander's gonna murder me. Oh, he missed. All right, we're tied on HP, but he hits harder than we do. Let's see, this is a go. Oh. He's got to miss what, one more time for us to win. Okay, we got it. I must continue to improve. We got really I lucky. Up a pretty good sweat. We got really lucky there. Okay, I like. Look, I'm here for it. All right, so we we just unlocked additional conversations as everybody try to murder one another. Fander. I owe you an apology. Why? An apology? What for? I messed up big time. If I'd been quicker about getting to Lethos, I could have saved Queen Lumera. Uh. I know the Queen meant a lot to you. I'm really sorry she's gone. You are mistaken, Prince Alfred. If there is blame to cast, I bear as much as you. More, in fact, as I was her retainer. So you see, you have nothing to apologize for. But I... Without your presence, Prince Alfred, our losses may have been even greater. As I see it, I have ample reason to thank you and none to resent you. Oh, well, he's so sweet. If you say so, happy to help. Hey, uh, is it okay with you if I visit again? Of course. Let us share stories of happier times with Queen Lumera. Happier times, huh? Indubitably. Indeed. I think Queen Lumera would prefer that to brooding over our failures. Don't you? It's fair. See, this is so... I, I like this. You make me happy. All right, Bucharan. Bucharestian. Oh, Are you ready yet, Bucharan? Yeah, I am. Hmm? 
Ready for what? Ready to tell me what you're mixing into your food to get those muscles. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Not this again. I've told you before that it's got nothing to do with my diet. That's what you say, yes. But today, I'm going to get the truth. Be careful, man. But that is the truth. Muscles come naturally to me. That's the long and the short of it. Fair. Genetics. Still sticking to that story, huh? Because I should tell you up front that I've been watching you, Bushira. Oh. You have? And? And I know you don't do anything but fish or read all day after training each morning. Uh -huh. There I am, working up a sweat, while you sit under a tree with a book or a pole. Hmm. There's no way you can do that and still stay in such incredible shape. So Genetics. I assume that whatever you're doing on the sly really works. All right, listen. Wait, are you using magic? Unbelievable. The lengths you'll go just for some muscles. No, it's nothing like that. In fact, it's nothing at all. I'm done arguing with you about this. People shouldn't see the prince's retainers quarreling. Good day, Etienne. Oh. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. That's just what he'd say if he was hiding something. Okay, that one less less sweet, but not outright hostile. I mean, it was a little hostile, but it wasn't like outright, outright hostile. All right, do we have any more um, smack each other in the face trainings? No, but we can do with an emblem. Train together to increase their bond level raising. More levels cost more bond fragments. I think this is where I'm going to spend some bond fragments right now for the first time. There's like, we gotta have a conversation at the Mercur Mercurius? And we could afford it right now. We could literally just do this. Huh, I think... that I want to do this. I do. I could build up my uh, whatever with my other folk, I suppose. Oh, whatever. Let's just do a little bit to everyone. We'll just do like one level to each person. I'll be your opponent. I am Marth. All right, see how we stack up against Marth. Oh, we do not stack up against Marth at all. Marth is going to oh, murder as strong us. strong as I expected. <laughs> Why are these going to be like, yeah, what, what what were you thinking there, little girl? Huh? What were you thinking earlier? I don't... Okay. I, mean, I guess we're just not going to crit people. All right. You know, that's that's fine. Let's, let's, let's do the emblem for the other two. So Alfred going to get whooped up by Sigurd. It's not going to go well for... Wait, Alfred? All right, we're going to get Alfred caught up because everybody else is a little bit behind right now. I'm out. Right, a little bit ahead Crown right now. Prince of Firene. I am Sigurd. You think to duel me? Yeah, it's no. not going to go well for me. Uh, thanks for showing me what I still need to work on. Yeah. Wait, did we? Oh. I visited the Divine Dragon lots of times over the years. We're practically family. A persistent presence can form bonds deeper even than blood. They are to be cherished. That's nice. It's good. I like that. We got short and sweet. We got from level three to five. We got uh, level four bond effects grant uh, 15 to hit, I think. And of course, skill inheritance. We'll let him sit at five. And then we're going to have um, Celica and Saline go and get to six as well. I am Saline, Princess of Firenze. Is that a hoop skirt? I don't I'm see Selica. the hoop. Like, are you my opponent? She's like like a skeleton inside the skirt, and her just huh. really really starchy, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think you stand much of a chance, Saline. Selica's cut me down most kind of melting your everything. Yeah, it didn't go well. All right, uh, magic proof proficiency with magic required. For promotion to certain classes. Okay. Okay, so class promotions. I'm here for it. Okay, I think that's enough of this. Uh, let's get out of here. Um, the Tower of Trials we haven't done. And maybe one or two other things. I want to finish up this episode with doing everything we need to do before we go to the next chapter. I want to be able to focus on the next chapter, starting the next episode. 
and getting into the combat and doing the, the stuff that I, I love. Like, and again, this is much better. It, it doesn't feel as, I, I don't know what the word would be. It just doesn't feel as bad. Uh, is this where we examine and we can do the achievement? Yeah, here we go. Okay, bond fragments, bond fragments. Uh, support conversation with Alfred Bucheron, uh, ETA, 100 individual combats, 200 individual combats, 20 soldiers, 30, and then 40. I feel like we haven't done that much, but maybe. Uh, corrupted foes, 10 and 20, defeated a thief. Use staves, there's nothing where we can like, oh, we can claim all if we wanted to. All right, I'm just gonna look through these then. Staves, critical hit. Uh, once, five times, engage with an emblem five times, use engage attacks five times, avoid an attack ten, chain attack ten, chain attack twenty, yep, break foes twenty times, did an activity for the first time, polish a stupid ring, uh, fight an ally in the arena, defeat an ally in the arena, uh -huh. fight an emblem in the arena, buy an item, clear chapter four, clear chapter five, and claim all. Okay, I appreciate that they sped that up and I can just kind of read through Again, probably don't need to read through. It's just kind of playing the game. So you, it's what you would expect. Let's see what the donations are. Um, I can donate money. And I have money. And this is how we level stuff up. I thought like we went and we did stuff in the area. And it would level up automatically. I didn't realize this was actually the donation side of things. Even though it literally says donations. Somehow I missed that this is what this was. I thought they were donating stuff to me. I think is how I was originally thinking of this. Like, I would go there, do quests and missions, and then, like, my rep would go up with them, and then they would give me all this stuff. That's that's what I expected. That is not how this works. Okay. So, let's donate the, to the next level. 5,000. Okay. Yeah, we received the harvest bounty. We got onions, ugh, tomatoes, wheat flour, peaches, some rare fruit, uh, excuse me, rare fruit, 10 of them, apparently. Cabbage, potatoes, apples, grapes, nuts, herbs, rare vegetables, 10 of uh, oranges, berries, and 500 bond fragments, along with nothing else. Okay. We can get some national clothing. I'm not going to donate again yet. Okay, that was cool. Is this uh, the ring chamber? Um, okay. Let's... We haven't gone to any of the shops yet, which I'm not sure that I'm ready to do. Uh, the Tower of Trials, I don't think is open yet. But it might be. As everything else is open, so I, I actually have no earthly idea. Somehow I missed an item, because of course I did. We'll go back to the plaza. How did I miss an item? Ah. Uh. I didn't go into this corner, it's true. Spirit gem? Hmm. Uh, we could start giving gifts to people if we wanted to, but I, again, I'm not sure what we need to do. Also, we got a bunch of new equipment and items and stuff. Uh, so at this point, we could start, like, putting new things on people. Now, I do want to manage items because she's got, like, way too many weapons, and I don't think she needs them. Like, the hit and the dodge rating is nice. Wow. Wow, the dodge rating goes through the roof with this sword. Holy crap. Uh, a light, unusually, ac uh, sorry, unusually accurate sword. Wow, that really increases our dodge rating, like, just so much. I don't need an iron sword anymore. Uh, the fact that there's no, and I love this so much, I know a lot of people won't like it, I've already said this, but I love so very, 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 very much that there is no oh, durability on weapons. It's the greatest thing of all time. Uh, always preferred. Uh, I'm taking this from you. I don't know that I necessarily like that you have no room, but you are a walking convoy. It's not a big deal. I'm going to put the antitoxin away. You're fine with the vulnerary. Oops, didn't mean to go get out of there. All right, uh, iron axe. I mean, we could go with, like, steel stuff. I don't think I'm going to do that with you. Vulnerary, writer's bane. Uh, we'll store that. Do we have any other books? We do not. Okay. But she's got the iron body art. Do we have any... Uh, we do have a staff. A couple of them, in fact. 
Um, I'm gonna grab this. Do we have any of these weird? Uh, I don't. I don't even know what they're considered. Doesn't look like we do. The uh, the the body art scroll thing does not look like we do. All right, uh, iron lance. Don't need the mini bow. I think we give you the steel lance, honestly. And yeah, and then maybe with you, I guess we give you the mini bow. It doesn't hurt you, and you can just use it randomly whenever you need to. Oh, is that short range? That's a point blank bow. Okay, so that actually covers close range. That's that okay. That's slick. I like that. I uh, already love what you're working with, my friend. In fact, I love it so much that you, good sir, are gonna drop one of your vulneraries. And you're going to be picking up the Steel Axe. I know it's not going to have as high of a hit rating. It never does, but it's there. Construct, we'll store that. Selene's got fire. Iron Lance, Javelin. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, I think I'm going to give you the Rider's Bane. Might be a mistake. But I think I'm going to give it to you. Okay, I think that's I think that's it. I, I didn't go crazy with the steel weapons and so on and so forth. I will use them as we go, but I'm like, chances are we'll be able to have mostly steel weapons by the time I use more of them. Now, blacksmith, I'm curious to see how the weapon upgrades work in in this scenario. Welcome, welcome. Can't thank you enough for letting me open my smithy here. Uh, remember, if your equipment needs a tweak, I can hammer it into shape. Here's how the smithy works. Trade materials and gold to strengthen your weapon at the smithy. Improve or upgrade your weapons by refining and engraving them. Oh, you can really, really upgrade them. That says a slim sword plus four. Oh, I like that. Alter a weapon by engraving it with the power of an emblem. I don't even know what that means. Uh, each emblem can be applied to one weapon at a time. Cool. I really like how they're tying all this together. You can also exchange one type of refining material for another. Weird. So I can engrave. Now this is just like a free thing that I can do, right? Alright, well there's some bonding points there. This upgrades the sword kind of drastically. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, we've upgraded the liberation. I like that. Uh, let's let's do one for each uh, each of the carriers right now. Uh, where are you at, buddy? You got the steel lance. Let's uh, make this a better version of the steel lance. It does not increase the hit. It does increase the avoidance. It lowers the weight. Maybe I want to do it off of the Iron Lance at this stage. I don't know what his chance to hit is. I feel like if I... We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. It's fine. Maybe. Hmm. Or I'll regret it. One of those two things. And then finally... I don't think we can do it to a book, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, there we go. The might goes down? The dodge rating goes up. Why would I want that? This might be the one time I don't go that route. Maybe I put it on yours, because I don't care about the might at all here. The dodge rating, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this route. Granted, you also kind of want your, your mages to just not mm. hit. It's fine. I, I feel like that's maybe the smarter play. I could be wrong. Probably am, but I feel like that's maybe the smarter play. All right, can we upgrade the Liberation? We can upgrade it to plus two. I'm okay with upgrading it to plus one right now. Hmm. All right. And I, I guess I'll refine maybe... Uh, just, I'm just going to try to do these. I don't know. We don't have a lot hmm. of resources for this. No, 
Like, what, what will we need for this? Is that iron? We just don't have iron. Okay. I'll be here. Thanks. All right, cool. So we did all that. Um, oh, you're the clothier, the clothier, or the clothier. Um, I, I think we're probably done. Like we did it. Okay. In the next episode, we will head through the mystical portal to the next chapter. And wow, forty-five minutes. Yikes. Um, and we'll continue on with the adventure and the excitement and uh, the combat and the gameplay. And I am looking forward to that. Anyway, folks, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching me stumble and fumble and fall my way through all the uh, various different things. Uh, you know what I'm going to do while we're going through here to the, uh, the exit? I'm just going to go get the rest of our achievements. All right, folks, until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>